So I've been in technology since 1998. I've been a gamer, you know, since the Commodore 64 days. Uh, I have also two older boys that have been very, very actively playing Fortnite over the last couple of years. And after about four years of playing Fortnite and several thousands of dollars that they spent on in-game assets, they lost interest in Fortnite, wanted to move on to the next game. My oldest son comes to me and says, hey dad, so I, how am I gonna get my money back? And I said, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I bought all of these assets. I own all of these assets. I want to be able to sell them. My name is Fyodor Agronet. I'm the director of Web3 at Godzilla Games. Godzilla Games is the developer of the Battle Royale game, Off The Grid, which is the first ever blockchain-enabled game to launch on PlayStation and Xbox, as well as PC as well as the developer of Gun Z, which is the world's first AAA Web3 gaming ecosystem built on top of an Avalanche L1. We launched our early access last October and since then have processed over half a billion transactions and had over 16 million unique wallets be set up in our ecosystem. Off the Grid is a 150 person battle royale game. You load in with a squad onto an island with a starter pistol and starter limbs. And it's all about the last man standing or the last woman standing. The last team that survives wins all of it. You're loading with your starter pistols and your starter limbs. You start going for loot crates and picking out weapons, picking out limbs. You could have a limb that has a grappling hook. You could have a limb that's a grenade launcher, an energy shield. You could find legs that make you run really fast or legs that make you jump really high. So you have a very, very large amount of strategic decision-making options that you can have in the course of playing the game. I play the game actually daily when I'm at home and I love playing with random squad teammates because I always love asking a couple of questions and that is how did you first find out about us and what did you play before and why are you playing off the grid now? And the most rewarding part for me as the director of Web3 is to hear 9 out of 10 people play us over Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex Legends because they simply like our game better, they like our gameplay better. They like our frequent updates, they like our limb system, they like that there's a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace that they can own their own assets. And that is, for me at least, the most rewarding aspect of it, that we are onboarding traditional mainstream gamers to, in essence, a blockchain-enabled gaming product. We are the world's first battle royale game in Web2 that has a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace where users can own their own assets and trade their own assets with other gamers, that's number one. Number two, we have a sustainable economy there is no inflationary treasury that just pumps out token rewards and dilutes and inflates supply. And again, first and foremost, it is a game that people love playing for the sake of playing the game. We call it play to own and not play to earn. Right from the start, we knew that we needed to have our own token for gas in order to abstract away all of the technical complexities that we felt a gamer simply wouldn't want to deal with. And when I say gamer, I mean a traditional mainstream gamer that is not yet into Web3. And we tested out several different blockchains, we tested out several different solutions, and the only solution that allowed us almost virtually out of the box to use our own token for gas fees was Avalanche. So we decided at that point, that was now over three years ago, to build on top of an Avalanche L1. In order to build an experience that allows mainstream gamers to be onboarded, you need to meet the gamer where they're at. They're not going to set up wallets, they're not going to swap tokens, they're not going to on off ramp fiat. So all of that has to be abstracted away, which is exactly what we did. So when you install our game and you load into the game, it feels and plays just like any other Web2 game would feel. But in the back end, we have a full blockchain infrastructure that set up, sets up the wallet automatically for you, swaps the tokens for you, on off ramps fiat for you. Most Web3 games have not been focusing on the most important thing, which is to provide an engaging and entertaining experience to the gamer. And most games have also not focused on establishing sustainable economies that work for the long term. The Avalanche team has been excellent on two fronts. They've been providing excellent technical support on any technical issues that we were facing. But in addition to that, surprisingly to me, they were also absolutely incredible in helping us with marketing, getting the word out there, partnerships within the ecosystem and the industry. There were several times when Avalanche surprised us with very unique ideas. One of them was to have our first ever in real life tournament uh, in Vegas, uh, piggybacking off of a parallel tournament that they were putting together. 
So they organized the venue, um, brought all the chaos and influences in on their own dime and gave us an absolutely amazing experience with an in real life tournament in Vegas. In addition to that, every time I would show up at Avalanche conferences or Avalanche side events, there'd be always at least half a dozen PCs running off the grid with Avalanche influencers, Avalanche content creators having a blast playing our game. So that was very, very rewarding to see. And in addition to that, they provided very good online marketing support and dissemination of our you know, most important news and updates and information. We recently launched our solo mode 24-7. We have our deathmatch mode coming sometime this month. We have more content updates with our monthly content packs, with our new battle passes. So there's a lot to look forward to on the off the grid side. But in addition to that, we have our Gunzi ecosystem where we will be onboarding and announcing soon the onboarding of the first several projects that will take advantage of this large ecosystem that we've built that consists of a custodial and non-custodial wallet. It consists of our P2P and a key marketplace our visual blockchain scanner, our NFT minting engine, and even a companion app for the games, which will be all made available through an SDK and API for free for our AAA gaming studios and their projects, both in Web 2 and in Web 3. I believe in a future where gamers will demand from gaming companies to have the ability to own all of their own assets, to be able to get some of their time back that they've invested into a game, to be able to share these assets with their family and friends, to sell them if they want to move on from a game. I firmly believe that over the next decade, this will be absolutely standard and part of every game out there. This is the first ever traditional AAA game to utilize blockchain technology, making it very accessible for both Web3 audiences as well as Web2 mainstream audiences. The setting up of wallets isn't an educational issue isn't a stumbling block to be overcome, it is a complete showstopper for traditional mainstream audiences. In order to onboard traditional gamers, you have to abstract away all of the complex technologies and make the experience feel very similar to what gamers are used to today, which is you download a game, you open it up, you load into the game and you have fun. And that's what we're doing at Godzilla Games. Mm -hmm.